Hello everyone, welcome back to Super Jerry 27's Nerd Cave, where we're talking about video games, comic books, social commentary, the occasional action figure, but mostly comics and video games. I am on the road to 1,000 subscribers, so I do appreciate that. If you are a new viewer, um, please debate on subscribing. I would definitely appreciate it. I would like to hit 1,000 uh, before year's end. I think that's doable, but hey, you never know. But uh, you're not here to listen to me prattle on about that. You want to know what comic books I'm currently reading and actually enjoying. Uh, kind of sifting through the, the modern day absolute garbage that is comic books. So I'm going to start with the book that's been running the longest. Uh, it's at issue 11. And that is Captain America by J. Michael Straczynski and Jesus... Saez, I think Matt Hollingsworth is colors, but uh, this has been amazing. Um, it's a standalone story. Like occasionally you get another Marvel character in there, but it's not it's not uh, intertwining with like the Blood Hunt or any of the huge, you know, uh, crossover series in uh, in Marvel right now. It's just Captain America, down to his roots. This is the Frank Miller cover. I love it. Um, Going down to his roots, just taking care of stuff in New York City. He gets sucked into this weird, super weird, supernatural society. And now he's trying to help them out. And that's where we're at. Uh, the art is beautiful. Uh, Jesus Saez is, is a wonderful artist. Uh, there are a couple issues where he's he was filled in because it's hard to, to draw that beautifully 12 issues consecutively. Which is why this book, it should be have more issues but they're taking a the time with the art and the story and it's definitely worth it i definitely suggest picking up captain america right now by j michael straczynski so good better than the nick spencer shit better than the tana tanahisi coach shit captain this guy he knows captain america it's uh, beautiful now up next is a mini series that is complete uh written by chips chip sadarsky and drawn by daniel acuna and that is Avengers Twilight. Covers by Alex Ross. There's Captain America, Iron Man, Miss Marvel, Thor, Hawkeye, and finally, the Hulk. Now, this series was amazing. It's, um,. Let's pretend it's like a, uh, a Dark Knight Returns, but it's the Avengers version of the Dark Knight Returns. And uh, Chip Zdarsky understands the Avengers. I, to this day, I've been reading his Batman. He does not understand Batman. I'm not enjoying his Batman. I'm reading it just so I can, you know, be caught up and, you know, use what I pay for. But uh, his twi uh, Avengers Twilight's amazing. It takes place 30 to 40 years in the future. Uh, I don't know what Earth it's on, but it's 34 years in the future. The Avengers have dis been disbanded because of H-Day. So they all became illegal. They lost their powers. They went into hiding or they died. And Tony Stark's child, along with Jarvis's brother, is running the world. But it's very dystopian. And there's a lot of elements that are happening in today's society in this book, which is kind of amazing. Uh, I don't know. Chip Zdarsky, I've read is Canadian, so maybe that's why. But uh, all the news is filtered. All the news has to go through the president, president or uh, Tony, or Tony Stark's child, or Jarvis's brother. Um, a lot of it's fake. A lot of it's manipulated. And Captain America sees everybody's freedoms being trounced upon and decides to to take a stand. And it is an amazing story. Uh, I really liked it. Very nuanced. Uh, very 1984-esque, but uh, you can see parallels from today. This came out before a lot, I don't know, about a year ago maybe? Um, six months, so it came out a lot before what's really happening, so it's very interesting. Is Chip Zdarsky Nostradamus? And finally, newest book on the list. It's a mini series. It's by Garth Ennis and Jacine Burroughs, and that is Get Fury. Fucking, I love Garth Ennis on The Punisher. It's uh, This takes place in Vietnam in the 70s. Uh, Frank Castle has been tasked with killing Nick Fury uh, before he gets to the Hanoi Hilton 
in uh, Vietnam. And man, Garth Ennis knows how to write. Like, it's so good. Like, he know I don't know if he researched Vietnam or was obsessed with it as a child, but he's just got it right. Uh, it's violent as hell. It is a Max series. I think this. I think Garth Ennis is the only person they bring out the Max, the Max uh, emblem out for. Oh, there it is on the bottom. I'm sorry. Because they are violent as hell, disturbing as hell, and I'm very glad that Garth Ennis decided to jump back on the Punisher bandwagon. It's only six issues, I believe, possibly eight. Uh, three issues are out right now, and it is amazing. I can't wait for the rest of them. I'm, I'm breaking some of my rules here with this this series because I usually like to wait till the mini series is done before I read it. But I've gotten viewers who want to know what I'm reading, so they know what to pick up at their local comic book shop. Go to your like local, local comic book shop. Don't don't get it from Amazon. Go to your local comic book shop. They are still struggling, and they will always struggle. So uh, help them out. That's where I get all my comic books is from my local comic book shop so uh like comment share and subscribe and let me know what you're reading i am i would love to know uh, there's i know there's some stuff out there that i missed because there's a lot of independent comic books out there now and i'm sniffing through previews all the time hoping to buy the good shit like comment share and subscribe thanks for watching